Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 and after we've had like, what is it, half an hour of failing to connect again? Yeah. We're finally together again. And some news from last time, um, of the update, my all of my characters were, well, my entire save file became corrupt so I had to start again. And I've taken the time to like, slightly tweak my character's appearance so he doesn't quite look like a big nosed freak. No yeah. offense to anybody who's got big noses. What the... what? Don't look at me like that and meow. You want, to open, you want me to open the door, don't you, so you can go upstairs? And then in ten minutes you'll be at the bottom of the door scratching going meow, meow. Bloody cat. Hold well on. <laughs> go on, Abby. Fuck off upstairs. Go on, then. Are you gonna... Go on, then. Go on. Bloody cat. Still sitting there. I'd laugh if you did that and fell off the edge. I fell off the edge earlier. When I first made this character, um, you know that uh, smooth and silky, or smooth and whatever it is, stone uh, by the waterfall at the beginning? Yep. Well, I weren't looking too closely where I was going and I fell off the edge after I picked it up. <laughs> Never quite done that before. We're a little further back from where we were last time because um, we're following his side of the game now. He has to just catch up to where I got up to. Yeah, this is still the uh, same character from the other videos. However, once that gets to about level 60, give or take, I'm probably going to swap to my other character. He's had some bad luck on this one today. Yeah, I've had bad luck on every character except for that one. Pick up item. Yeah, that reminds me. If you ever find any petrified dragon bones, do give them to me. Fuck off. Unless, of course, you plan on using a boss item, in which case, don't bother. I know. I'm probably going to be using a boss big ass sword, so. Eventually, yeah. I've decided I'm going to the same build I always go. But at least we've been playing on this. I'm going all out big ass bastard with armor and shit. A level 70 character, I've got the Dragon Rider Twin Blade. Fucking nice. awesome. And twin Blades are really good, but they always require such high stats to use. Mm -hmm. For the standard Twin Blade, you need 26 dexterity. I was grinding for ages just to get enough souls to get like, a couple of levels. Yeah, I'll just take this guy out with my trusty bow and arrow. So there's only That's two there to contend with. My experience, one is fucking enough to destroy. Ow. Oh, uh, I do dislike it that there's so many things you can knock so you won't fall down and like do your falling attack on them. He'll break around the infantry. Pretty sure as the hollow infantry. Wait, yep, good. hollow infantry helmet, I think. We're we gonna take this out this way, or we're we gonna use the uh, ballistas on it. Yeah, I find taking this thing out. Mm. Don't use a life bin there. Should just. Yeah, you're cutting off quite a bit. <laughs> Don't get behind it! <laughs> I thought you do like no damage to it and I just obliterate it in three hits. Yeah, yours is a bludgeoning weapon, what do you expect? A high end bludgeoning weapon as well. Nice. It's a plus one. Very upgraded. God, I fucking hate spears, I swear to god. That. Oh, him. 
Yes. Guys, I don't want to have completely forgot what it is. Come on. I was going to take him out. Oh, well. Going to I've backstab never... him, but... <laughs> oh, it's a halberd in this. You have never actually fallen off of here before. I got knocked off. Even up at. Knocked off, fell off, seemed different. Well, fell off is an accident, getting knocked off is uh, kind of intentional. Hell the fucking tank and ain't lizard. What did you get from it? Just a Titanite or? Uh, two Titanite shards. I only got one Titanite shard when I killed mine. That's yeah. unfair. Randomised. Really open up the shotgun. No, I did find a twinkling Titanite earlier. If I don't drag like armor if you get it. And decide to use it. God, my god looks mean with his eyes like that. I checked in the shade, it's almost like he's a fucking super saiyan. I should have had him blonde spiky hair. In the elevator there, it gave me a close up of her face and she just looks so bored. Did you forget to pick up your, um. summon sigil? Oh no, I've got it. Character. That's good. And the cat, of course, wants to go upstairs now. You can make your mind up. But to fight the last giant, so fuck the cat and just. Way. Uh oh, I don't like that shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna one hand us because I don't. Care. Yeah. You shield it. Whoop. Ow. I don't like that. Stompy. I had some sort of range capability, I could take out this guy no bother. Fighting this guy in ranged combat is so easy and predictable, because whenever he goes to attack he just runs between his legs. Fuck! Oh shit, oh shit. Shit, oh shit, oh shit. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, let's do that again. Oh, NPCs do regain health. It's very, very slow, but it does happen. You know, I kind of hope we could. Well, it would have been pretty cool if we could use his arm as a weapon. But I don't think it's his arm, but there is a big club you get from his soul. Why the fuck God did he use damn it? He was nowhere near me though. Estus. Estus and Life Gem at the same time. Gonna heal me some stuff. Estus Gem! Oh. Regain that stamina. Why, yi, yi. Kill! 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 Yay, we killed the son of a beach. And just as my mace goes into you, risk. Oh, fucking. Task completed, returning to your world. Yeah. Nah, you just gotta summon you and do it in mine. So ah. yeah, you'll probably be seeing bosses done twice. More than likely. But we've got the shortcut open, so... So after we've done this, I think we should go to Hyde's Tower of Flame. Mm-hmm. Off there. Instead of going to the Pursuer. 
go to Howard's Tower of Flame, use it to get your stuff, get leveled up a bit more. Then we can go after High Tower of Flames, we go to Huntsman's Cove, or Copse even, and then from there, through that, then we go to the place after that. Just harvest or something or other, get the fr fragrant branch of your. Uh, either take out the pursuer or go through No Man's Wharf, please Strad, and then we can get boss items. Yeah, I'm probably going to go um, do the pursuer first. Or after we've done uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame, we go do the pursuer so I can get my more powerful oh. armour. Oh. That? Oh, yeah, Drang like armour, I forgot. That's where that is. And the build I'm one, I'm really going to need that armor because it like doubles the best armor we can get up to that point. So you want to put your uh, sickle down next to the boss room? Yeah, give me a second, I'm going to buy a bit of armor. Ah. I could probably buy some armor, but I'm waiting. Stuff I've got isn't exactly the best. Hollow infantry stuff. I want hollow soldier stuff, apart from the soldier legging the worst than the soldier, the infantry boots, which are kind of odd. Well, I just realised we need to go to No Man's War so I can get Pyromancy stuff. That looks odd. <laughs> yeah, they are slow. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to summon you. No, no. Cancel, cancel. Uh, crap. Fortunately. I've summoned somebody accidentally. No, oh, but it looks like we may get lucky and he may not be able to be summoned in. Oh no, Agnamon's here. Agnamon? No, Atom Gnome. Ah. I think it's supposed to be Atomic Gnome. Very good spell armor. Are you gonna run in or are we gonna summon somebody else for it? Another uh, random. Give me a second. I don't know, simply should that. Um, I'm next to the boss room so just put it down and I'll put it up. Here we go. Where's your signal appear for before me? You in the room? Just outside that. Can you put it down? Just next to where the gate says. Well, it's in the centre of the room. Not appearing. I might just summon Pate. Yeah, it's not appearing. So I just summoned Pate. Oh no, it's fucking appeared now, you bastard. Oh wait, it's oh, longer. Here's the uh, black separation crystal to get rid of the guy that's there. Right, banishing Pate. Cancel mine just. Oh no, it's not you, it's Duncan. Ah, oh, there you are. I just no, cancelled that in case someone you. summons me. Ah, fuck it, I'll just summon Drunken Candy. You won't be in this town. You're out Hyde's Tower then. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Went after my jeweler, so... Base, please. Get from me. Oh, 
those are intimidating. The big soldier guys are nowhere near as bad as like the skeletons in the graveyard and Dark Souls 1. Skeletons from the graveyard in Dark Souls 1 were like massive OP for the start of it. <laughs> What's the fact that they inflicted pretty severe bleed on you? Even if you're blocking, you're still gonna get fucked. You can't actually go in there and survive until you actually know what you're doing. I'm not sat down. <laughs> you all take the praise of well, it's not quite the praise of sun bow, but still a bow to be worthy. Yeah, I'm level um, twenty six now. Remember what I said about the cat's gonna be meowing to come back in in a minute. I can hear her behind the door going, because she doesn't go meow, she goes, she's a strange old cat. You know what, I level up a wee bit, because I'm 26 now. Yeah, I've got 14,668 points to uh, work with. Yeah, and um, I the ring, the name engraved ring, the, the cat. Quickly running this area so I can get that thing out of the thing, thing. Where we put our signal sound down, that door. Oh. Ring of restoration and a torch there. I don't ever spend all my time getting money or um, all my time getting money. I don't know whether to spend my souls getting my levels or spend my souls getting better armor. Uh, when you get the name engraved, try and go with the goddess of the hunt again. Doki. As you guys have probably realised, yes, we have played this bit already. <laughs> I've gotten up to like level yeah. 50 and 60, so. Seven, eh? Two, I think. That's the highest one I've got. The only reason that's the highest one I've got so far is because I keep deleting on my characters. <laughs> I'll be able to use my thingy sword. Oh well. I'll go and buy the ring first. Just throw up between whether leveling up or getting all the stuff. thing I found out is with the ring on, uh, it says makes it easier connecting to other people with this who chose the same god, but what it actually does is make it so that you can only connect to people who chose the same god. So NPC summons won't appear while you have the ring equipped. Satisfied? Cool. Unless they're from the same god, I suppose. Or is a Tell the NPCs don't have a god, but I don't know. Evlana, goddess of the hunt. Off, whatever you want to name. Bearer of the curse. Lest. Now I've got to get my strength up to twenty. Oh, I can just get my strength up to twenty, so I can use my uh, bastard sword. Really well. 
Oh, look, possible. where's my bastard sword? There's my bastard sword. Put my short sword there and my bow and arrow. I'm actually not sure whether you use all that. You get bonuses to the arrow, bow and arrow, but um. Yeah, I think bow and arrow is slightly stronger now because of my stats. Should be. Now the question now is to go and get the Drang Lake set or to uh, go to Hyde's Tower of Flame. I'd say go to Hyde's Tower of Flame. Level up some more. Take it when we're around level 30. Thirty odd. Yep, the reason why I didn't go to Hyde's Tower of Flame so I could just teleport there is because we haven't shown it yet. Now that we've really shown a great deal of things, we skip all the conversation. What, what are you going to do? But then this isn't really a guide, it's a let's play, it's watching me and a friend play it. Your guide will just come from us talking shit about everyone. Yeah. We do tend to do that, we like Jeremy Clarkson, and we talk a lot of shit. I don't know if I'd go that far. Although our shit doesn't uh, matter up our woolly hair. Ah, one annoying thing, waiting for doors to open. Give me that item. Ooh, broken thief sword. I know there's a hidden wall, uh, a hidden wall thing. I think I know where it is, and I completely forgot to use it. Go for it. No, you. One thing I think. Fire. Uh, I'm gonna try and do as. Look for certain characters and such which you can interact with because of either you don't have an item or your stats aren't the right whatever. If I know about it I'll try and explain. Okay, do you want me to put the signal in the usual place? Yeah. Usually put it up here so it's uh, out of the way a little bit. We try and do that so random people just don't join which you see doesn't exactly always work. Perfect timing. It it appears, appeared, did it? As I, do. I was running back for killing everyone. Yeah, and it, like I said, you're going to see us go through this twice. Pretty much everything twice, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say there's two bosses in this area, but there's not. There's one boss in Hyde's Tower of Flame, one boss in the Blue Cathedral. Which, if what looks up to it, you'll be able to see. The big castle thing. I've looked in all the areas where there are stuff we have to fight. Yeah. Which honestly is pretty much... Oh, 360 degree look. Because <laughs> we have to fight lots of things everywhere. Yeah, if you've ever played the first Dark Souls or watched anything on it, you will recognise the boss. Oh, and the Blue Cathedral. Well, if you've uh, played it through to completion, or at least a uh, decent halfway. amount of way. In. Yeah, if you've played it through to completion, halfway. of course you've uh, fought him. Or one like him. Very much a one in one You get, you want to clear the area. You could have at least like, respawned them so I could have got some, yeah, some souls. Kick you off. Like, as it is, this guy is my favourite NPC summon. He's pretty awesome. For me, this guy is the equivalent of Black Iron Tarkus. Dark Souls 1. He just destroys everyone. And unlike other NPCs, this guy can help you with this boss fight and the one at the Blue Cathedral because he'll actually follow you all the way up there. Where most NPCs will stop at some invisible wall. Start slowly walking back, it's a pain in the ass. Say hello to the Dragon Raider. 